from today come to Winnett's Pass and uh, from Castleton so we're going to go through Winnett's Pass and Cavedale today uh, yeah come straight up this path and honest to god it's like walking on ice so word warning if you come after it's rained be careful because it's slippy as hell Roll on summer time. Don't like look at that sky. Well, I managed to get off of most of that slippy path down there and I've started walking across the side of this hill I'm less likely to fall on my backside aren't I but just look at the views at Castleton when it's pass and up there your mantor and then all the way across beautiful look at that Cave Dale. Oh, 
What's your problem, Dolly? Ask Bo. Overall castle. Did it do you think last long before that stuff come back? Again, this part of path uh, coming through Cave Dale Way and back round top of Winnet's Pass is uh, slippy as hell. So, again, if you come up here after a bit of rubbish weather. Just have your wits about you because, uh, yeah, I've already tested the theory that it is slippy as hell as I've slipped on my backside once, so I've got mucky ass. But it's all good, it's all part of the fun. Lovely, lovely mud.
like wind's picking up again. I've only got about another, well, maybe another mile, mile and a half, and then I'm done. I get back to the car, go home, wash my mucky ass pants. Thank you, sludge. And then do it all again tomorrow in Dovedale. So, Lord's seat. This is the path that's taking me back to where Clara is at the bottom of Winnet's Pass. <laughs> Not bothered, I will jumper. No, me neither. I'm quite impressed with this uh, new gimbal off a tickety tockety shop. It only cost me about 13 quid and it follows you around the room. There's an app that's hooked up to your phone so you can do different sort of things. It's got a thumbstick and like a uh, controller for moving up, down, left, right three axes so very little wobble I mean I'm walking now nah, and even if I jump up and down it's not that bad 13 pound well spent I think it's definitely better than the other gimbal the one where I drop remote in river Y like a pillock and it got swept away at least remote on this you can't really well, it's not remote, it's a bloody joy pod. You can't take it off, so there's no way that I'm ever going to lose it. Because someone's going to lose it, sod like me. It, it's only a matter of time before I drop it. Yeah, I'm impressed. Way better than the other gimbal. And the yeah, battery seems to last longer as well, so I can't fault it. Oh, lovely, lovely little baby.
Central, so without getting run over. Bloody wind tunnel here. today because I've dodged rain, got back in car, and guess what? It's just started chucking it down. 